Millfield Science and Performing Arts College was the setting for the launch of the Young Engineers Competition 2016. On a classroom visit, students were able to show how the school has invested its £10,000 prize money in state-of-the-art equipment. The annual challenge for youngsters aged between 13 to 15 is jointly sponsored by Quadrilla Resources and Centrica Energy, who are at the forefront of the exploration of shale gas in Lancashire and who are determined to encourage tomorrow's scientists and engineers in a fun and engaging way. I've been hugely impressed with the, both of what I've seen and also with the, uh, the enthusiasm of both the teaching staff and particularly the kids. They're all really excited about science and engineering, which is wonderful. So. I really enjoy using the ECG because it's a lot more interesting to be able to see your own results rather than just learning from a textbook and to be able to actually see your own heart's results. That's, it's really good to see. I think it's very impressive the way the schools spent and invested the money, particularly in attracting across curricular activities and trying to get a wider cohort into, into STEM club here and it's worked extremely well. Johnston Press and Blackpool and the File College are also partners in organising the annual competition which last year attracted entries from 26 Blackpool, Fylde and Wyre secondary schools. The 2015 Young Engineers competition saw Millfield triumph by building the best self-propelled cable car now they are looking forward to the details of a blind challenge for 2016. All will be revealed with a qualifying event taking place at Blackpool and the File College on February the 5th, with the top schools going through to the final on February the 26th. Look out for the latest developments in the Young Engineer 2016 with regular reports in the Blackpool Gazette, Litherman St Anne's Express and Fleetwood Weekly News.